What's good, people? Uncle Hotep back at it again. How y'all doing? P.K. Subin. You know, professional hockey player. From Canada. I can't call him a kata. Well, he isn't a kata. I can't call him a shine. <laughs> Says he'll never protest during the national anthem. And Greg Wisniewski, Wisniewski, However you say this guy's name in the writer's article, a.k.a. Puck Daddy. <laughs> like, how would you read, why would you read something that uh, the writer's, one of his, I guess his nicknames is Puck Daddy. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Anyway, PK said, man, he's not, they asked him, will you, you sit down for the anthem? He said, hell no. I'm not sitting down for nothing, you know. Um, and uh, I think it was at a fundraiser. Yeah, P.K. Subin said on Tuesday that he'll never kneel during the national anthem to protest something politically. Hey, well, I don't, I don't see the problem with that. I don't like. What's the big deal? Subin performed at a fundraiser on Tuesday night at Zane's Comedy Club in Nashville. I guess he's a part-time comedian. I guess I wish that I wish that somebody like, could get some of his jokes. <laughs> He told the audience he would never take a knee during the national anthem because he had too much respect for the American flag. His comments were sent to us by two eyewitnesses and confirmed by the predators. Subin, who is Canadian, is, is considered the most prominent black player in, in the pro hockey. I think the Flyers got a, a, a shine waiting for them. I, forget, I can't even remember his name. He's actually pretty good, too. Um, I used to watch hockey back in the day, way, way back in the day, like... The the Dave Poulin, the Steve, the Steve Kerr, um, Tim Kerr, my fault. What was the how? What was the one of the, the how's the second name? You know, Brian Prop, Hextall. Those the, way back in those days, you used to watch them. Um, but uh, I haven't really watched it lately in years. You know what I mean? Like after the Gretzky era, I think I haven't watched any hockey really. Um, I think they need to spin rings, rings a little bit. But uh, it's still a good game. I, I have no problems with it. But, you know, more and more Negroes are playing. You know what I mean? It's, I mean, you know, you need a little couple dollars. You don't need much, but you need a couple more dollars. You can't just give them a shine, a pair of sneakers, and a ball. You got to give them skates, a stick, a helmet, and all this other jazz. And you got to live in, in areas where it's cold. You know, the shine don't like the cold. The Akata <laughs> don't like the cold. You know, I mean, well, if you grow up in Canada, you got a shot to play. And, uh, you know, P.K. Subin made the best of it. He's one of the better players in the NHL. Well, if he's a defenseman, well, you know, he's all right. And as a matter of fact, you know, this Nashville was in the Stanley Cup Finals last year, and they took Pittsburgh in six games. Earlier in the day, the National Predators announced that as a team, they would not engage in any protests during the National Anthem. This came as less than two hours after... Hundreds of NFL players, coaches, and executives show solidarity in rebuking President Donald Trump's comments that players who protested police brutality against African Americans during the national anthem were sons of bitches who deserve to lose their jobs. CEO Sean Henry said to the to the Tennessean, "When this all came about, we wanted to get together with our team because we." We do everything as a collaborative. When we say what we're going to do, it, it really is we. Everyone had an input. We're, in, we're honoring the anthem and the big and the flag and the country by standing during the anthem. We invite our fans to do so, <laughs> do so with us. It is also our way of honoring what else it stands for. And it provides the freedom for others to express that views and protest in a manner which they'll feel comfortable doing. We just think there's proper forms for all. For all. Our games have become this unifying celebration, so we decided that we're going to stand together to honor the country and all that comes with it. Now we got some snitches and, and, and people were reporting, sending it. <laughs> you know, it's fucked up, man. It, like a black guy says, a black hockey player says he's standing and people that go to support the team are going to turn around and send his what he said to the uh, reporters. 
just so they can find some way to get this Negro back on the on the, uh, the, the plantation. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, you're a straight black man. You you in trouble, man. You on you under. They got you under scope, boy. According to Seth Dean, a Predators fan who attended a comedy fundraiser event, Subin took the stage and said he'll continue to stand respect and sing along with the U.S. anthem. At one point, he pointed out a friend of his in the crowd who was a law enforcement officer in Boston. <laughs> okay. He also addressed why he always shuffles his feet during the anthem. He first said it could be ADD, but he's never been tested. <laughs> Then he mentioned just being pumped up by the crowd excited to support USA even as a Canadian. He even jokingly suggested we should all stand and sing the anthem there. <laughs> Which did happen. <laughs> he, uh, he wasn't to go against Levy's proclamation that players were going to stand stay standing, especially with his coach in the room. But he made his support for anthem as unequivocally as he possibly could. Like, what do you want him to say? He, he doesn't think he hasn't probably think of anything of it. In an email to Yahoo Sports, Haley, another attendee, described the scene in more detail. <gasps> oh, tonight was a <laughs> front rear in Zanies in Nashville, for which Ryan Hamilton was the headliner. As my attendance was spontaneous, I was pretty excited when PK Subin was the first comedian. Much to my surprise, he allegedly his allegedly impromptu set ended with a tense promise from PK that despite his previously previous dancing antics, antics during the national anthem, he would never kneel during the national anthem, followed by a long rant about his respect for the American flag. Obviously, it's, it's totally PJ's prerogative on how he, how he reacts to the national anthem, but I couldn't help but feel frustrated by the whole incident. I saw that Joel Ward, who had, like PK, been subject to some good old Boston racism during his playoff run against the Bruins, spoke favorably about the NFL protests in the last couple of days. As the events was a fundraiser, he had a, and had a lesser-known comedian, the majority of audience tended to center around older white Tennesseans. No cameras or phones allowed, yet PK's stance against the NFL protesters certainly was as an uncomfortable one for me and my fellow young Predators fans. His awkward shout out to Peter Laviolette, was who was in attendance right before the plane, and his respect for the American flag certainly did not help matters. This guy was like, "See, this. <laughs> PK strayed off the set plantation so far that all the white folks is he, he uncomfortable with what he said. Ain't that some shit, man?" <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's it shit is fucked up, man. And let's let's get to the end where this writer really puts his foot down. Sorry, no PK Subin will not be the guy who takes the knee and makes the stand. PK Subin is the guy who decided with his team not to do so. Then told a rule without cameras on that he would never protest during the anthem. Sorry if this lets you down, because you believe that an outspoken player like Subin would stand in solidarity with other pro athletes, or would symbolically share your political beliefs through his actions. Like what? The, like now, I know hockey, black hockey players. It's been well documented they face some racism, you know, by other players or for people in the stands. I know this. Everybody knows this. But the flag isn't the one. The flag is an inanimate object. The anthem is an inanimate object. You know, sitting down doing a flag isn't protesting the people that throwing the banana peel at you or all the other shit. You know what I mean? I, I don't get where you <coughs> you're mad at. First of all, you shouldn't even be mad if like if if somebody hates you for the color of your skin. That should be their loss. You know what I mean? That's how I view it. And I think that's how every. Uh, Black, African, whatever you want to call it. That's, I mean, that's how you should view it. You know what I mean? Um, it shouldn't be any skin off your back. I think a lot of times, <clears throat> especially black Americans, um, that's almost a sense of envy sometimes. Oh, they call me this, they call me that. They don't like me, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, who gives a damn? Who gives a shit? You know what I mean? I think <laughs> we've worried about this for so long. It, it, it It's like, it's in X. It's etched into our brain and stuff like that. Like, we shouldn't worry about that. Like, who cares? You should love yourself. If you love yourself, 
It doesn't matter if somebody else doesn't love you or doesn't like you. You know what I'm saying? Do we love ourselves? That's questions that might need answering. <sighs> I don't know what to say, man. You know, I mean, and they're like, and they're going to try to put the pressure on this guy, man. Look at Neil. <laughs> like, Neil does anything. And like, now all of a sudden, this kneeling is part because people are racist. Like, when girl got her, her fried chicken through in her window. She talking about that's just why they're kneeling. You're kneeling because white folks have pulled a racist prank? I mean, come the fuck on, man. You guys got to get over this shit. Whatever happened to sticks and stones may break my bones and words will never hurt. Now you all here falling all over the words and actions. Fried chicken on the, in, the, in the airways. Come on, man. This is... Anyway. Salutes for him. <coughs> Salute to Pete Gaffer. I mean, go, he was like, man, he, he, if if he felt a certain way, he, he's not going to take it out on the anthem or, or the flag. And, you know, the people do have the right to do that. But my point is, if you're, pro, <laughs> if you're protesting, protesting, don't protest, do a symbolic protest about a goddamn flag that has nothing to do with it. 